What else is on the NHL network? No. The NHL draft, the entry draft. And you know where it might be this year? Out in Vegas. Vegas, baby, Vegas. Have you heard of the new sphere? I've heard of it. Yeah. Uh, I've only seen pictures of it. Well, the NHL bizarre. finalizing details to yeah. host the 2024 NHL entry draft at the sphere in Vegas. How wild would that be? I think it's great. I think it's uh, it'll give some buzz to the draft. It'll bring a novelty, a new look that we've never really seen before. And I'm just really excited and hopeful that they take advantage of it, that mm -hmm. they use it to its full abilities, and they can do some really cool stuff on it. Because just to do generic things, you know, would be interesting. But I want to see something big, maybe that the league can really promote this and, and yeah. sell it on on the fans. And this is true of the other sports as well. But I love that the NHL is willing to try novel things, unique things, um, and and refine the format to some degree um, as it stages these big events uh, from one event to the next. So. Uh, what at, the sphere offers <laughs> the NHL draft remains to be seen, but it's a um, you know it's it's a it's a venue unlike any other, so it should be really interesting. Anything staged hockey-wise inside the city of Vegas. Um, Look at that! Going to draw a lot out of, of this world. The best is when they show like the eyeball blinking. Yeah. It's just. So creepy. creepy. Look at that. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Holds up to uh, 20,000 people, so it's a big Bigger barn. Yeah. Well, uh, and we and should mention this is the final year before the decentralized draft, which means, you know, GMs and teams and stuff are going to kind of right. stay in their own locations. Hopefully players and media still on site and stuff, because you were talking about yeah. your draft back in Raleigh, and that was a great experience for you on day number one. It was awesome. I understand decentralizing for the management and the organizations makes it a little bit easier and cost-effective for them. But for the players, I got drafted in 2004 in, in uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. Carolina, and it was an amazing experience sitting in the stands, having the yeah. draft floor down there, the buzz, the movement, um, and then just walking down the steps and meeting, uh, you know, the entire management on the stage. It's a what very do they cool say experience. on the stage? I always want to know because <laughs> I, we never. I mean, we hear the number one overall pick, right? Sure. Mic'd up and stuff. But what did they tell you when you come? Well, I think I blacked stage? out a lot of it because I was so nervous. <laughs> I just didn't want to trip down the <laughs> yeah. stairs. But don't fall, uh, don't you fall. sort of shake a line of hands with people you've never really met, and yeah. they just say, "Hey, welcome to the Canucks. Welcome uh -huh. to Vancouver. Welcome." And you're like, "I don't know who any of you are, but <laughs> yeah. thank you. You know, yeah. I appreciate this." Happy so.